Here I'm reviewing the basics of electrical muscle stimulation using an off-the-shelf muscle stimulator. So here we have an off-the-shelf muscle stimulator that works with a 9-volt battery. Make sure you plug it in the right way. Um, this is actually an analog machine, which I really like. Uh, it delivers 70 milliamp, which is enough for like most contractions, such as the hand. So it will totally work for our case here. As you can see, it even has an LED that shows activity, so we can sort of see that everything is functioning properly. All right, I've set the frequency to about 70 hertz, and now I turn everything off again. While you're plugging any of these type of machines to your body, make sure the machines are off, so no intensity, no current is flowing. Grab one of those EMS cables that you're gonna connect from the machine onto the electrodes. So we plug it on the, one of the channels of the machine. Here I'm plugging into the rightmost channel of the machine called channel one. And I'm plugging it to two electrodes. In electrical muscle stimulation, two electrodes make one channel. So in order to stimulate one muscle, you need a minimum of two electrodes, a positive and a negative. Here I'm locating the palm flexor. That's the muscle that moves my palm inwards, sort of like clenching the fist. So I place one electrode, the negative, on the base of the muscle, and the positive slightly further away. Now I'm going to very slowly, with the frequency at 70 hertz, I'm going to very slowly open the intensity channel. I don't feel anything at this point. I'm going to put a little bit more, and you see my fingers contracting a little bit. And that's, I also feel a lot of tingling in my skin. That's purely natural as the current passes through the skin receptors. When I reach 10 milliamps, my hand actually contracts. Let's see that again. So play with the sensation for a little bit, get used to it. Make sure you're using a setting that is pain-free for you. Now we can actually wire another channel, that means another muscle. Again, we grab a cable for that and we plug that into the channel 2 of these machines. We're going to plug this cable onto two electrodes because, once again, we need two electrodes to make one EMS channel. We're going to locate the extensor of the palm muscle. So that's this muscle. Move my palm upwards. I'm going to place the negative in the base of the muscle. That's closer to the elbow. And three or four fingers away, I'm going to place the positive in the direction of that muscle going to repeat the procedure. I'm opening the channel very gently and very slowly and I'll go milliamp by milliamp. At some point there's no contraction but I start to feel a tingling sensation in my skin. There it goes. And now I know that by just putting a little bit more we're going to have a motoric contraction. It elicits the muscle fibers and the muscle stimulation kicks in. And my palm goes upwards. Try to find the setting that works for you. To turn off the machine, plug all the channels first off, then remove the cables, then place back the electrodes in the right side of the plastic pad. That right side keeps the electrodes for longer and keeps them nice and sticky. Pack it up and you're good to go. Practice a few times electrical muscle stimulation only with this analog machine so you can sort of get the sense of it and then you can actually use OpenStim with it and digitally control it via Bluetooth or Android or whatever you want to do with it.